Hello, my darlings. Welcome to your April 11th card of the day. This is going to be for the next 24 hours whenever you happen to stumble upon this video. It might not be April 11th depending on where you are in the world or you might see it at some other time. So we're setting the intention for the next 24 hours from whenever you happen to see this video. Happy birthday to the April 11th Aries. Let's see what is coming up here. And the card we have is Justice. I'm going to move you all just a little bit closer here. This is a major arcana card. So those of you that you watch my videos, you've heard me say before about the major arcana cards, that they come up when we're at a significant new chapter in our life, a significant like defining moment. Uh, the things that are going on are directly connected to things we came into this lifetime to learn, to accomplish, to master. So they're powerful they're, they're, they're powerful periods of time. Uh, so even though I'm setting the intention here for the next 24 hours, this is not energy that's just going to be around for 24 hours. Things are happening within the next 24 hours that are setting certain things in motion. This is energy that will be around for a while. Now, the Justice card comes up in a few different ways. The Justice card is representative of the astrological sign of Libra. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra, which there's going to be a significant uh, interaction, significant reason for having crossed paths with this person. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I have to chuckle here. Uh, um, okay, I just saw something occurred to me. So there could be a Libra that you're dealing with. If you have a Libra placement, there can be big changes or big shifts happening for you in those areas of your life or in those houses. Now, the Justice card can sometimes come up when there are legal matters or legal situations that we're having to deal with. Traditionally, this card tells us that things will go in our favor, okay? Uh, but I don't do uh, legal readings. I don't give any kind of legal advice. I don't read on court situations. In my experience, this card sometimes comes up for people in private readings when there might be a situation in which you've been wronged, where like your rights are being violated or something unethical is occurring and you're being encouraged to stand up for yourself and to enforce your rights or to make sure that your rights are being enforced. So some of you might be in a situation where you feel like your hand is being forced to take legal action in a situation, and that could be a life lesson thing in itself, like standing up for yourself and saying, hey, this isn't okay. You don't have the right to do this. And so this could be a way in which some of you are standing up for yourselves. Um, justice card is about balancing the head and the heart. So if some of you have been struggling because you feel like every time you listen to your head, uh, you, you're miserable, <laughs> miserable, bored to tears, right? Uh, and every time you listen to your heart, you might feel like you get burned. You get burned, it backfires, and you just might feel like, man, I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't. I don't know what to do. I listen to my head, I'm miserable. I listen to my heart, I'm miserable, right? And we all grew up with the whole, like, follow your heart, follow your heart, you know? And sometimes it doesn't work out. So the Justice card comes in to remind us that these two things are not meant to be separate. They're meant to work together. You can follow your heart, but you don't want it to be like the Fool card where you're just willy-nilly throwing yourself on your head. You, you have to have some kind of a plan here. You have to have some kind of a... Uh, obviously, yeah, the universe will make things align, but at the same time, we need to go th in, into the situation prepared. We have to have some kind of a game plan. So the Justice card comes in to balance the, the head and the heart. To balance the head and the heart. You can follow your heart, but you're going to do it by incorporating some logic. Incorporating some planning. What are some ways that I can set myself up for success? What are some ways that I can take steps and actions that are going to give me a good result? 
okay? Um, also, one more thing, some of you here might be balancing your head and your heart in terms of your beliefs. Maybe some of you grew up with really, really rigid beliefs and now you're looking at things and you're like, hey, you know what? It's not that black and white, right? Um, uh, it's kind of the principle of, uh, of uh, what Jesus uh, talked about, the letter of the law and the spirit of the law, right? Somebody was like, well, what if this person, it's the Sabbath and their little goat or their little sheep falls in a pit and it's going to die. And is he wrong? Is he committing a sin for, for, for pulling the sheep out of the pit on the Sabbath? Because they're not supposed to work. And Jesus talks about the spirit of the law, right? Like things are not that black and white. And sometimes there are certain circumstances where we have to ask, what is the bigger crime? Is it a crime to let that poor little creature sit there and die? Or is it a crime to say, oh, I worked on, on the Sabbath? So you might be kind of looking at your beliefs and you might be looking at um, your, uh, your, 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 your uh, not priorities, but like your decision making, your decision making connected to your beliefs. And you may be seeing ways that maybe some of this is a little bit too rigid. Not everything is so black and white. There's some gray areas. And some of you may be kind of contemplating those gray areas. You may want to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos uh, for your uh, weekly forecasts as well as your sun sign for the weekly forecasts. I will have those linked in the description of the video. Um, I say that because with the major arcana cards, usually there's a lot of big changes happening. And um, if you can't afford a private reading, sometimes it can be helpful to check out your moon sign and rising sign because it can be a little bit more specific to your energy. Keep in mind, they're still general readings, so you have to pay attention to what resonates with you. But I will have the weekly forecasts linked in the description of this video. Also, the link to schedule a private reading with me if you're interested in doing so. Um, it will take you to calendly.com slash amethystangelite. Also, uh, the link to schedule for the uh, tarot class that I'm teaching in Phoenix on June 18th is in the link of the description. Love readings for April, linked in the description. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care and be well, my dears. Bye-bye.